Lily, Queen, Patriot, then Ringo, Swingin', Abe, Snowdrift, Comanche, Peanut, Bella, Cass, and Ike completes the crew. They are all horses housed at Texas Tech's Therapeutic oh. Riding Center. Very nice, Cal. Good. Now hold on with those legs. The facility uses horses to provide therapy for people with disabilities. Kelsey Lewis is the volunteer coordinator and office manager. We offer three types of equine assisted therapy out here. That consists of hippotherapy, therapeutic riding, and a new program which is equine counseling and wellness. Right now, the center sees up to 75 riders a week, ages two all the way to 98. Push him out because he's trying to counter being good. We can see anything from ADHD to muscular dystrophy to spina bifida. There are 12 horses, 19 staff members, and more than 50 volunteers. Volunteers are completely necessary for what we do out here. If we didn't have them, we could not facilitate all the lessons that we do. But what you see today, including this arena and beautiful sensory trail, is a far cry from where the program started two decades ago. We started out the class and we didn't have a barn. We didn't have a trailer or a truck, and we borrowed all of those from the Texas Tech Farms. Uh, we kept our first three horses out there and brought them in here and did our class here in the livestock arena. Heidi Brady is a professor at Texas Tech. It was about 20 years ago and we decided to um, start a class here. Uh, we didn't have a program or anything, but a class offering to teach students about therapeutic riding. From humble beginnings to an accredited center, one that not only serves the South Plains, but is used to teach tech students, even certifying some to become therapeutic riding instructors. Research is also a focus at the facility. We always saw that there was big differences, especially in young children in hippotherapy, where, where they could improve their motor skills. And working with the Texas Tech Health Sciences Center, Brady's been able to quantify that. It surpasses what even I think their their physicians and uh, are are thinking. We measure them before and after 15 sessions of hippotherapy, and the results to date um, have been so dramatic. To our knowledge, Texas Tech is the only university that has the the big um, equine assisted therapy center like we have here. Um, the university and then the allied health and medical school on the same campus. And what, what makes that so beautiful is that we can do this collaborative research like nowhere else in the country. The center continues to grow, recently completing construction on phase one of its expanding space. As for the future, Brady says it's unlimited. Did you ever imagine, I guess, 20 years ago that it would have become what it is now? Oh, no. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, we've been, well, we had dreams, of course, but we were blessed along the way by so many donors and so many programs that believed in the program that saw a need that we saw here in Lubbock and the surrounding communities for children and adults with disabilities to be able to uh, better their lives, become stronger. Now hold on with those legs. There is no other place like it.